Peggy 16. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Flynn and welcome to Numskull Presents, a new series where we take a closer look at new titles on the horizon for Numskull games and give you exclusive previews of physical products and behind the scenes. We'll also be giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite today, so keep your eyes peeled on the video to find out more. We've got an exciting lineup for you today across a range of across a range of different platforms. So let's just get let's just get straight into it. So, sorry, sorry, uh, what is that? That's weird. Where did this come from? That's a great segue into our first game today. And I should probably put some pants on. Let's start with Ministry of Broadcast, an adventure set in a dystopian world where contestants must compete in a morbid reality TV show to win their freedom. Very apt for 2020, I'm sure you'll agree. You play as Jack, captured and enrolled in the show, his motivations are to get out alive and see his family again. Ministry of Broadcast is a pixel-perfect platforming adventure with a twisting and turning narrative packed full of brilliantly written characters. The tongue-in-cheek humour, platforming puzzles and beautiful art and music make Ministry of Broadcast's six-hour campaign perfect to enjoy over several sittings on your Nintendo Switch. The physical edition of Ministry of Broadcast for Nintendo Switch and Badge Edition will be available in retailers on 4th of September. Check out the description to find out which stores near you have open pre-orders. If you're a fan of 2D platformers, you should also check out Super Epic, which has also recently received a physical edition. Super Epic is a Metroidvania style game that follows the quest of a raccoon and llama trying to dismantle Regnant Corp, a video games corporation that has taken over the world. To some people that may sound like a world worth living in, but playing through this fast paced charming game will show you that it's anything but that. Super Epic is available now at a number of retailers which can be found at www.numskullgames.com and if you're collecting pin badges we've got you covered of course with our badge edition featuring beautiful enamel pin badges of a number of characters and moments, it's a super epic way of showing your enthusiasm for super epic. Did you see what I did there? This is a mouldy potato. This is a holy potato. If you're a fan of management sims and an enthusiast for cute cartoon potatoes, whack Holy Potatoes Compendium on your meal plan. Filled with video game humour, pop culture references and potato puns in abundance, Holy Potatoes delivers not one, not two, but three different management sims from the potato verse. First up, Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop? Manage your very own weapon shop and expand its business across an incredible potato world. Put together a team of spudding crafters to forge weapons and sell them to venturing heroes as they head out to explore dungeons and defeat various potato foes. I'm sorry for that one. Next, the spuds reach new horizons in holy potatoes. We're in space? Here you captain a spaceship of half-baked crew, craft hundreds of offensive and defensive modules, and explore the vastness of a veggie-filled universe. Finally, the potatoes get roasted in Holy Potatoes, what the hell? A wacky hell-themed cooking sim where you take on the role of a chef in an afterlife populated by, you've guessed it, potatoes. Punish the sinful potatoes by cooking them up to appease the potatoes pantheon of gods. These three games come together to provide a charming and relaxed sim experience with tons of replay value. Check out the description to find out which stores near you have open pre-orders.
since launching, gamers have loved Horizon Chase Turbo, the thrilling arcade racing game inspired by the super fun, straight to the point classic racing games from the 90s. Given demand, we've got some exciting news for all of you. We'll be producing reprints and new physical copies of Horizon Chase Turbo, so if you're looking to add it to your physical collection, this is the best time to do so. We'll put a link in the description as to where you can purchase this from. That's not all we've got to say on racing games, so check back to Numsky in the future for more info. What's better than a visual novel about robots? Two of them. Is that really the punchline? We're not even robots? Amateurs. If you're a fan of Japanese video games and Spike Chunsoft, you'll love the Robotics Notes double pack. That's right, two visual novels in one physical package. Join the Robot Club and explore the island of Tanegashima, featuring over 60 hours of gameplay between Robotics Notes Elite and Robotics Notes Dash. These games will provide tons of replay value, featuring a gripping story and multiple endings following the player's favourite characters. In Robotics Notes Elite, one of the last two members of Central Tanegashima High's Robot Research Club kicks back and relaxes as his counterpart, the reckless club leader Akiho Senomiya, strives to complete their giant robot in order to keep the club from being disbanded. But Kaito's days of relaxation end with the discovery of the mysterious Kimijima report. It contains instructions involving locations all across the island and warns of a conspiracy targeting the entire world. In Robotics Notes Dash, the island of Tanegashima is preparing for the summer festival. Kaito Yashio is introduced to Itaru Hashida from the Steinsgate series. Itaru claims to be taking a tour of the island, but as time goes on he starts acting right rather strangely. Meanwhile, unsettling incidents begin to occur all around them, harbingers of an event that will again plunge the world into chaos. Celebrate the release of both these games coming to the West for the first time, Robotics Notes Double Pack, complete with a collector's set of 4-pin badges, coming to Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 16th of October 2020, available for pre-order now. This time around we focus quite a lot on the potential of dystopian worlds and sentient potatoes, but in September and October we'll be looking at another sparkling selection of upcoming Numskull titles. We'll be starting with a closer look at Tin and Kuna, a family friendly 3D puzzle platformer perfect for the Nintendo Switch, before moving into the spellbinding theme of light and shadow in Iris Fall. We'll also be taking a look at gameplay of Blade of Fury, an action game set in ancient China, but that won't be all. We can't wait to share a little bit more info. Before we finish up today, we've got some news from Numskull's PR and Community Manager, Neil Flynn. Yes, we do have the same surname. Over to you, Neil. Thank you very much for tuning in today. We really do appreciate it. This is a momentous occasion for us here at Numskull Games. Now, for the exciting part, the Nintendo Switch Lite competition. We are giving away one Nintendo Switch Lite and a game of their choosing from our Numskull Games catalog, a lucky winner. Now, all you have to do to sign up is click on the link in the description below. That will take you to the Numskull newsletter sign up. Sign up for that newsletter and you're automatically entered into that prize draw. But that's not all. When you sign up for our Numskull newsletter, you'll be getting the latest pre-order information, news, and any information that we have on any other future Numskull Presents. You'll be the first to hear about it. Make sure you sign up, and that's all you need to do. Entries will close on Sunday the 2nd of August, so please make sure that you get your entry in before that date. Take it away. Thank you for tuning in for our first ever episode of Numskull Presents. Here's hoping you're as excited about being watched, potatoes and robots as much as we are. We're looking forward to jumping into titles beyond the horizon in the next episode, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our gaming news. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, links in the description and on the screen.